My name is Monica McGillicuddy, and for those of you that do not know me, I actually have a beauty and lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. It's called Monica's Beauty and Lifestyle. And on that channel, I talk a lot about anti-aging, skin care. I do wigs. I do hair pieces. I do a little bit of everything. I firmly believe that age is just a number. I'm 65. That doesn't mean that... I can't have fun and be spontaneous and do the things I love to do. This wig makes me feel spontaneous, fun, young, and ready to hit the beach. <laughs> Uh, really ready to hit the beach. So this wig was sent to me complimentary from Wig Studio One. And let me tell you, when Wig Studio One reached out to me and asked me if I would entertain the idea of being one of their guest reviewers, I was like all over it. I said, yes. Yes, yes, I almost jumped through my computer screen. I was so excited about the opportunity. So they sent me complimentary this beautiful wig from Bell Trust. This is called Italian Roast in the color Sugar Cookie with Hazelnut. Isn't that a delicious sounding color? Sugar Cookie with Hazelnut. Yummy. So this wig is a heat friendly wig and it is layered. It is rooted, as you can see, there's a root here. It has a really nice lace front. This is sort of a creative lace front, as Beltrus calls it, and this is part of their cafe collection. So this wig, I think, is a little, it's like about maybe three and a half ounces. And the, my head circumference is 22 inches. I think it's really important for anyone just starting out to buy a wig or thinking about buying a wig is to measure your head, know the dimensions between your forehead and chin, because more often than not, you're going to look at the wigs and then there's going to be sizes on there. It's going to tell you average, petite, large. It's also going to tell you how long the bangs are. So if you have four inches or what, or whatever your forehead is to your chin, you can tell pretty well how a wig is going to fall, how the bangs are going to fall if there's a bang or fringe as it's called. You can pretty well tell how it's going to fit on you. This wig, as I said, was sent to me complimentary from Wig Studio One. If you have not been on their Facebook page, I highly recommend you go to their Facebook page. I think I stumbled upon their Facebook page, gosh, I think maybe maybe a year ago. It seems like it's been longer than that, but I'm, I'm not sure. On their Facebook page, they actually have a very vibrant community and there's a lot of engagement. People ask questions. Not only do the community members help answer these questions, but also the ladies that are affiliated with Wig Studio One jump in, the admins, the moderators, they all answer questions and really help everyone out. It is a wealth of information. It is, it is the place, it's a, a super resource for anyone that, and you know what, wearing your first wig or buying a first wig, it's pretty stressful. It really is. So my natural, my bio hair is thinning and I can use all the help I can get when it comes to hairstyles, hair accessories. So I look at this and I'm thinking, oh, this is so much fun. This is such a cool look. With heat friendly fiber, you could go ahead and style it. You can put some curl in it. You can actually straighten it a little bit more, but I wouldn't even touch it. I just absolutely love the layers. I love the side part. I love how, the, how comfortable this cap feels on my head. I'm gonna include a little video clip and some still pictures as I'm talking here of me outside on a windy, windy day. And as you can see here, I'm turning, I'm outside, the wind is blowing, the fibers are lifting, and when the wind stops blowing and I turn around and I look back at the camera, I think the hair looks perfect. It looks really, really nice. Beachy wave, very sassy, very, very much, I think, a fun look. And, you know, as I said, age is only a number, and I think you can wear whatever 
puts a smile on your face. And this definitely puts a smile on my face. When I received it, it came well packaged and boxed up, secure. I was really nervous as I was opening up the tissue paper and then I saw the wig nestled. And I would, then I took it out and I shook it really, really good. And this is what I would recommend anyone to do before you put a wig on. Hold it upside down and shake it out and let the fibers loosen up. Now, this would probably benefit from hanging upside down for a few days. I really didn't do that. So, shook it a couple of times. I shook it again when I put it on today. I'm gonna do a spin here so you can see it. If you're seeing a bump here, it's because my hair is in a ponytail on the back of my head and I didn't pin the ponytail up. Sometimes I'll pin the ponytail up flat so that you can't see any kind of a, a bump. But this is Bell Tress in Italian Roast in the color Sugar Cookie with Hazelnut. Heat friendly fibers. It has adjustable straps. I think it fits really nice. I was able to, as you saw in the photos, I was able to put sunglasses on. It looked really super, super good. Perfect look. What do you think? I love it. Anyways, this comes in many, many different colors. If you are interested in this, check out Wig Studio One because I know that they frequently have sales. And they also have, I think on Sunday nights on their Facebook page, they have a sort of, and maybe not every Sunday night, but they do have like a section where they actually do a clearance sale. And I think it's Andrea and maybe others, but they actually will wear the wigs that they're putting on clearance. So I think it's an awesome, awesome thing. I'm going to list all the dimensions here so that you can see them and really get a good feel for the size of the wig. But let me tell you, in the windy conditions, this stayed put and I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Wig Studio One, for giving me this opportunity to be a guest reviewer.